What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So let's talk about Rashad Mati. So uh, yeah, about a week ago, I made a video talking about who I think would win between Rashad Mati and Nicolas De Mario. I talked about how this fight was supposed to take place over the weekend over in New York in the undercard of the Lopez versus Cambosas fight to be shown live on the Zone. I was picking Rashad Mati to win, and uh, the fight did not happen. It did not happen, and I honestly completely forgot about it until I read a comment from Gustavo uh, Re uh, Reis Thibault. Shout out to Gustavo Reis Thibault, who asked me what happened to this fight. If the fight was postponed or what happened to it, who won. And I honestly completely forgot about this fight. And I remember thinking too, watching the event, I was like, huh. You know, I, th I thought it went by really fast and I was like, I'm pretty sure there's one more fight I'm missing that I talked about, and it turns out this was the fight that I, uh, uh, that you know we missed on over the weekend. And if you're wondering why it didn't happen, less like uh, Mr. Ray Stebo right here, uh, the fight did not happen because, at least according to Miss uh, Chris Mannix, who writes for Sports Illustrated and who works for the Zone, he said that uh, the Mario did not pass his New York administered MRI. So it says right here, I'll, I'll read the whole thing. He said, Rashad Mahdi, a rising 140-pound prospect, is off Saturday's The Zone Boxing Show. Mahdi's manager, Kit Connolly, tells Sports Illustrated Mahdi's scheduled opponent, Nicolas Pablo de Mario, did not pass New York administered MMR, MRI. Um, and it says right here that uh, Connolly is hoping to get Mahdi back out in December. Saturday was a major opportunity for Mahdi who was scheduled to fight on the televised undercard of Lopez Cambosos. Hopefully they can reschedule him. Um, I mean, obviously it doesn't have to be against the Mario. It can be against anybody. Uh, there are still a couple uh, the zone shows taking place this uh, December. So they can put him in the undercard of one of those shows. And at least that's the hope. Uh, Richard Mati is a rising prospect who has a lot of potential. And it seems like he has a decent following as well right now. Um, and you know, hopefully he does fight somebody. Like I said, it doesn't have to be DeMario. <laughs> I'm just hoping for somebody. Um, MRI. So that's what he failed to... I guess he didn't pass that. Um, I don't know what they exactly found. Uh, but, you know, uh, that's the reason why. Anyway, keep an eye on Rishat Mahdi. Uh, actually, if you don't know who he is, um, let's Google him real quick. Rishat Mahdi. So a little bit more about him. Going to his box rec, he's a 23-year-old fighter from Staten Island, New York. 11-0, 7 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. He is of Albanian descent. So if you're an Albanian fight fan, pay attention to your boy in Bashar Mahdi, man. Um, he could use the following. So start paying attention. So far, he's done pretty well for his professional career. He turned pro back in 2018. Uh, so he's been a, f a pro for a couple, a few years now. Um... You know, give him a couple more years, and I think by his mid twenties to late twenties, uh, I think he'll he definitely has what it takes to eventually fight for a world title. Does he have what it takes to be a world champion right now? At the weight he's fighting, um, I don't know why Chris Mannix said one forty. He actually fights at one forty seven. Um, yeah, one forty seven is a packed packed division. It's not easy to become a world champion at one forty seven, at least at the moment. But who knows how it will look like? three four five years from now it might look completely different from now uh from you know in the future and you never know mati might eventually fight for a world title then so let me know your thoughts in the comments um uh, thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks